All right, here we go again. This is Sage Review Part 2, second thing we're reviewing. Uh, still is going to deal with proportionality, and uh, here we go. So the first thing we got to do is fill in the table relating perimeter to the stage number. Uh, so in the first one, we have six sides, perimeter of six. Uh, stage 2. If we count them, you would think it was 12, wouldn't you? But they share a side right here. They share that side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 2 is going to be 10. And right away I notice 6 to 10 is 4. So I'm hoping the next one's 14. I'm thinking we're going up by 4s. Let's count. They share two sides this time, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Hey, we're good. So now we know that we are going up by 4 every time. So 18, 22. So we're growing by 4. But it's always good to take a look at the zero stage so if I work backwards 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 and I go 22, 18, 14, 10, 6 the net, if, the, if there was a zero stage this would be a 2 okay so that's an important number That's help, that helps us with a formula uh, so it looks like we're going to have to we're growing by 4, so we're going to do 4 times x. But, but if I do 4 times 5, do I get 22? 4 times 5 is 20, so no. But if I add on the 0th stage, so 4x plus 2, it should work. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. So that means we're going to be doing 4 times 10, plus 2 is 42, 4 times a quarter, is 100 plus 2 is 102. 4 times 100 is 400 plus 2 is 402. Wow. So we kind of are going faster. We created an equation. So our perimeter equation is 4x plus 2. That'll get us any train we want. Okay. Step two is create the graph of the relationship, and I labeled it already. Went by one, skipping one, but going by one. Every two is worth one, and then two, four, six, eight for the vertical. So stage one has six. Says so right here. Stage two has ten. Stage 3 has 14. And now I can kind of see the pattern easily to graph it. And then I can just draw my line. It goes through there like that. And in fact, the 0 stage was 2, right? Yes, the 0 stage was 2. So, we can see we're growing by 4 every time, but we start out at 2. We do not go through the origin. The origin would be right here. And so this question right here, is the equation proportional? We'd have to say no, because our line 
does not go through. The origin. Okay? And there's another way to look at it. Just really quickly, if we write perimeter over the stage and compare all those fractions. So 6 over 1, 10 over 2, 14 over 3. 18 over 4 are those equivalent fractions? Hmm. So is 6 over 1 equal, equivalent to 10 over 2? Definitely not. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 6 divided by 1 is 6. So again, our ratios are not equal, so it's not proportional. NP no. Thanks, you guys, for listening. That is it. Great job.